Hey guys, Rick Kern of TV Scale Adventures for my friends at Midwest Tongs. Question we get at Midwest Tongs all the time, what is the right tool for me? Now who asks this type of question? Well, it's oftentimes a homeowner that is encountering something like this, like my friend right here. Now this is actually a Taiwan beauty snake, he's perfectly harmless, non-venomous snake. But, you know, if you're a homeowner and <laughs> you stumble upon a snake, any kind of snake, whether it's venomous or non-venomous, can actually be very intimidating. So you're tempted to go over to tongs.com and you say, I need a snake tool, but I don't know what I need. And you're right away, you're confronted with a couple of choices. Number one is a snake hook, and that looks like a great idea. But then you see snake tong, and you think, well, maybe that's a great idea. Which one do I choose? Well, let me run down the difference between these two tools, and I'm going to have a demonstration real quick. First, let's talk about a snake hook. This is a great tool for an experienced snake handler. This is somebody who's been very comfortable working with snakes. I'm gonna give you a quick, quick demonstration of some of the skill set that has to go into this. So you've got my, my Taiwan Beauty Snake here, and what you would do is you would take the hook, and you're just gonna, I'm going underneath his head right here, but you wanna get about a, about a third of the way down to his body here, and then you would pick him up. Now, this is what an experienced snake handler might do. They might tail it. Now I'm going to tell you the truth, Midwest Tongs does not recommend anybody tail a snake, but this is what you'll see some people doing. I guarantee you 99% of all novice homeowners would die before they would ever want to do something like this. So this is what it takes to use a snake hook though, is you've got to know the type of snake you're working with, you got to have a balancing act, even if you're not tailing, you still have to make sure that snake isn't coming up the shaft at you. So I'm going to put Jaguar down here. Like I said, it's a good tool in the hands of an experienced user. But let me show you a better tool for someone who's not very comfortable working with snakes. This is a tong, it's a snake tong. This is a tool that's used for lifting and balancing and moving. This tool arrests the snake on the spot. It puts it and holds it in place. Now here's the great thing about this. This is my pet snake. I love Jaguar, so I would not hurt him. This tool is designed for the humane removal of snakes. And the way that we do it, same technique. I come down here, I look at about a third of the way through his body, and I just gently pick him up. Now notice here, he stops. And that's because that red on there provides a gripping source. It doesn't hurt him. And then what I can do is I can take Jaguar and I can put him over here in his bucket. But he's not going anywhere. Now he wants to put up a little bit of a fight, but that's okay. Because that's very typical of what would happen to a homeowner. You can simply pick the snake up again and continue to move him down inside of the bucket. <laughs> no matter how much he may want to be with you. But as you can see, you get the whole body down inside there. Once you got that, what I'm using is I'm using the tong to actually hold them in place. That's a great advantage of these tongs. They hold the snake in place. Then I can take the security cap, also available from Midwest Tongs, put it over the bucket, and I can close this. Notice at no time did my hands go on that snake. That's the proper way for anybody to move a snake who's not familiar or an expert with working with snakes. You want to make sure that your hands are away from that snake. You saw that was a great example because typically a snake doesn't want to go in a bucket. So that me having to move him, that was important. So let me run this down for you. You have two tools, the hook, and then you have the tong. This is an experienced snake handler tool. It's a great tool. And if you get comfortable and you want to start working with one, work with one. But start working with a non-venomous snake like Jaguar. But if you're just somebody who wants to move a snake out of the yard, get him away from the grandkids or something like that, you can't go wrong with a snake tong. It grabs the snake, it holds the snake, it stops the snake, it grips the snake. Then you are in charge of where you want to move that snake. But don't be fooled. Don't go on the site and look for the cheapest thing because snake hooks typically are a little cheaper than snake tongs. But don't buy on price point. Buy on your level of experience and buy on your safety. Always put your safety first. And then also consider the safety and humanity of the animal. So remember, guys, check out tongs.com for more great tips like this because we want you to be safe. We want you to get the right tool. And we want you to humanely move the animals off your property. Stay tuned at tongs.com.